Greetings, comrades. Now, we are going to go into Snowman's Land for the final star. Into the igloo. Let's do it. Alright. So, like the previous star, or whatever, um, we're gonna want to get the uh, shell so we can get into the igloo, which is always a fun thing to do. There's a star in there, which we're gonna need to get, so let's go get to it. Uh, okay. Good thing I did it right that time, because before I just missed him, and then there was a chain of very unfortunate events, uh, not a series of unfortunate events, a chain of unfortunate events, actually, um, that led me, uh, to be, uh, unable to get to the shell. But now that I got the shell, I can surf up here and crawl into this igloo. Hold down L to crawl, or Z, I believe it is for you non virtual console users. I could play on my original N64, but then I'd have to move it, and that would just be stupid. I don't want to move my N64 for that crappy N64 controller, it's not worth it. Um, but seriously, like, the N64 controllers suck. Like, they're not that, like, the design isn't that bad, but the control stick is just bullshit. It's like, come on. It breaks so easily. Like, for me, anyway. Well, not, I've heard it breaks easily, but mine has broken either way. And it's just so annoying, because I'm not going to go out and buy a new N64 controller. Like, no one's going to be, or, well, no, 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 GameStop's definitely going to sell it, but... Or, it would probably, I'd assume it would have one used there. I could find one on eBay, but it's just like, I don't really want to go and get an N64 controller when I have a vir the virtual console and I can pretty much get every game I have. But whatever, whatever, whatever. It's just stupid. It's just me being stubborn and not wanting to buy a controller, even though I could probably get one for like three bucks. Uh, I'm just so damn lazy, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's see, we've done a lot. Uh, let's go to, uh, whatever world. Uh, this, do I want to go to the big small one, or do I want to go to this one? Uh, it's an equal feeling of not wanting to do it, so I'm just gonna go to this one, because it's closer. Scale the mountain! This star isn't too bad, so probably there, there hopefully won't be so much rage, but there can be a lot of rage in this, uh, level sometimes for me. But I do like the uh, the worlds towards the end of this game a bit more, mainly because I've played them yet less, but whatever. Anyway, jumping on these mushrooms will uh, get you about half of the red coins in this stage. But we're not going to go for that right now, because not only is it very risky, there's not much of a point in doing it. There's a shortcut over there, but we're going to start using it later, after we do the full uh, journey through this level. So we're gonna cross this bridge, which is hovering over the beginning of the level. Go up here to where this monkey, like Ukiki or whatever his name is, I think that's his name. No! 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 Fucking thing sucks! Fucking thing sucks is all I can say. Fucking thing sucks. So now we have to use that stupid log to get all the way over there, which is just a chore in itself. <clears throat> Ahem. And then that monkey tries to steal your cat. But anyway, if you want to be a cheap bitch like me, and you've got like, you're pretty sure of your helicoptering skills, uh, then you can use that shy guy to get over here. Uh, avoid these things, because they are very, uh, very painful when you get hit. That's another shortcut that I'll end up showing it off later. Or now. I could show it off now, too. That would work. That works, too. That's, that's perfectly fine. But either way, you're going to end up on this path right here. And, ooh, ooh, that was awesome. Alright, now we're gonna long jump across this gap here. Uh, there's an annoying cloud that'll blow you off. There's a, there's a, uh, a secret little level there, which we'll be doing later on. Right now, all we're concerning ourselves with is scaling the mountain. Uh, in this grass, you can jump, uh, you can't jump quite as high. We'll get to that. Oh, no, we won't get to that. There's nothing worth noting about the grass being, uh, stupid. Alright, so we're gonna carefully cross this bridge. And that's pretty much all there is to this level. It's just getting to the top. A very simple level with a star at the top. 81, which just happens to be 9 squared. I mean, it's only obvious. I mean, gotta start thinking about my math facts. I mean, 16, 4 squared, so many squares. I mean, 1, the square of 1? I mean, come on. Intense. 
Mystery of the Monkey Cage. A basic replica of the last level, except with added monkey awesomeness. And when I say awesomeness, I actually mean... We're doing it live! Fuck it. We'll go live. No, no, we're not. We'll go live. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Not we're going live. Not anything like that. We'll do it live. Okay? Get it right. Faggot. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I'm just gonna put my dick in a blender. No, I'm not really gonna put my dick in a blender. Because that'd just be extremely painful and unnecessary. Like that? <laughs> painful. Just, just painful. Now I remember why, like, I was so hesitant to do this level. Because it's just so annoying. There's so many parts where you can just fall and have to start all over again. And I don't even want to talk about getting hit by one of these boulders. So, we're gonna do that. And then hopefully these coins will restore my health back to full power so I can beat this level without any trouble. Because that's all I want to do right now, is just get to the top of this level and be done with it right now, because... I've been recording for a lot today in preparation for when I'm, uh, going on vacation. Uh, whew. So, let's go past this cloud. He thinks he's so smart with his grin. Uh, but he's not really that smart. He's actually pretty dumb, considering he's in a level with two, le two levels that are basically complete copies of each other. Now, as you can see, there's a caged star, and so the thing that sets this level apart from its uh, predecessor is you need to get to the top, and instead of grabbing the star, you gotta catch this stupid-ass monkey. Like, cool, like, because I didn't have enough fun with the bunny, I have to also catch a monkey. So awesome. Uh, but as you can see, this guy, well, as you saw, this guy is earlier in the level, and he will steal your cap, but this one... You just want him for that cage, because he will open it for you, and if I wasn't... Okay, I'm just gonna shut up for a second. See, what's awful about that is it took long enough for it to be necessary for me to make a cut, which is just dumb. Yeah, you don't get dialogue. You don't get dialogue, faggot. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna free him, and he's actually gonna do something useful, even though I still like to kill him. Um... He's gonna go over here, and he's gonna open that cage for us, which is pretty nice. I mean, I, I could use a good- I could use a power star, too. I mean, I do have 81, but still. So what he's gonna do is he's, he's gonna jump on top of this cage and just magically open it. And so- or whatever. Alright. Or just drop it into the ocean. Or not the ocean, but the river. And that was actually a perfect jump and ground pound combo. So yeah. Done with this, uh, power star here. I'm pretty sure, uh, no, we're probably gonna have to climb it again, like, five more times. Even though I've already done two levels. Scary shrooms, red coins. Okay, not too bad. Have to climb some scary shrooms, though, which is never fun. Climbing scary shrooms is just, just, uh, one of the, uh, it was actually, uh, removed from the Olympics because it was so, so scary. I mean, come on. Shroom hopping, pretty dangerous. Eh, it actually is dangerous. I'm not even mocking it at all. Like, if you fall here, you're dead. But luckily, I didn't fall. So fuck you, <laughs> faggot stage. Not dying to you. I'm acting cocky on purpose, because I know something's gonna happen by some fate to make me lose. Because it just always happens. I'll, I'll do fine on the hardest part, but when the easy part comes, and I lose. So hopefully, hopefully we won't let that happen. All right, let's do this. Uh, should only have like two more left, so as long as these Monty moles don't get in our way, should be fine. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Okay, that jump is stupid. That jump is extremely stupid. How about not putting a rock above my head so I can actually get there? That's cool. That is awesome. All right, red coin. I think so. Alright, one of the easier red coin uh, stars out there, especially since they're all, like, compacted into one spot. But when you jump down to go get the star, please do not fall off like I have before. Not in this episode, but, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Faggot star! Yeah. Awesome. Alright. And depending on how long the next star is, maybe I can get that one too. But if not, I'm just gonna end it here, okay?
Oh my god, Mario, just jump in the painting. Mysterious mountainside. Uh, yeah. Slide level, okay. We actually do have plenty of time, don't we? So I'm gonna go and do the slide level and then be done with it. So let's hurry up to the top of the mountain again. Even though we're not going to the complete top, we're going uh, to the semi top. As in almost to the top, but not really quite to the top. All right, maybe some wall jumping could help here. Okay, not much, but a little bit. All right, more backflipping. Backflipping is actually very useful. Not quite as useful as long jumping, in my opinion. I am O. I am O, bro. But still pretty useful. And that shortcut is very useful considering you skip like half the stage. Uh, I just hope this is the. Yep, right spot. All right. And if you stop here along this line of coins and jump into the wall, which is vibrating. Secret slide number three. The hardest of the secret slide. Ouch. The hardest of the secret slide levels. Except, uh. No, 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 I think Cool Cool Mountain definitely has, uh, Cool Cool Mountain has, definitely has the hardest slide level. Just because of the stupid ice and that stupid fat penguin, who actually is fat when you go back to race him again. Uh, I think it's after 120 stars or just later in the game, I'm not sure. I'll have to go check back on that later, but anyway, the main thing you have to watch out for this level is Miyamoto's Dirty Tricks, because he has plenty of them. He's got a million of them. His, uh, his dirty tricks. He'll try to send you into all these different gaps. He'll, he'll even make dead ends. But there will be arrows for the, that dead end in the beginning, which will give you a hint that you need to turn. And all you need to do is get to this hole here at the end. And you will fall out of this hole, which will give you a star. And that's all you really need to know about this level. So, uh, I think I'm going to call it a day for now. So I'll see you next time.